Teresa Matic with Resource Investing News. I'm down at the Vancouver Resource Investment Conference. With me today is Wanda Cutler, head of the Investor Relations Program at Namaska Lithium. Thank you for joining me. Thanks. Thanks. Good to be here. Great. So Namaska produces lithium hydroxide directly from concentrate rather than lithium carbonate. Mm -hmm. Why is that important for investors to note? We decided uh, a few years ago, we did our market research. Uh, we really looked into the lithium, uh, the lithium battery space and what we felt was going to be new and up and coming in that, in that space. And one of the things that we discovered very quickly was that lithium hydroxide was emerging as a chemical compound of choice for new batteries, um, specifically in uh, the electric vehicle market. And that, uh, and so we took the decision very early on to uh, develop a process that uses, uh, that uses electrolysis and produces uh, hydroxide directly. Most people in the industry uh, transform a carbonate. So they produce a carbonate first and then they do a secondary transformation of the carbonate into a hydroxide. And so um, our decision to, to go with hydroxide is proven to be the right one. If you look at companies like Tesla, like Toyota, um, you know, Panasonic, these guys have all decided to go uh, with batteries with uh, lithium hydroxide chemistries. And are there any other companies taking this approach? You know, I think that we are unique in this. I think that we are the only ones right now that are that are actually going directly from a spodumene concentrate to a lithium hydroxide. Certainly others will be able to do it in the future, but they will have the added expense of doing a secondary transformation of the carbonate. Okay. And what's stopping other companies from just mimis- mimicking your process? Well, I mean, we do have patents pending on the process, and assuming that we do have the patents granted, um, you know, we're, we're hoping that uh, countries that respect patent laws will, will obviously be respecting our patent. Um, the other thing is, is our process is very uh, electricity intensive because we're using electrolysis. And uh, in Quebec, that's great because our electrolysis is four and a half cents uh, a kilowatt hour for long-term power contracts. So that keeps your cost very low. Um, and that is obviously not the situation in most other places in the world. So that keeps your cost low and really prevents others from kind of coming in, stealing your, t- stealing your technology um, just because they don't have, they don't have the, the low cost electricity. Okay, and something else to consider, Namaska also has the Wabuchi project. Mm -hmm. You just signed an impact benefit agreement for that. How is that progressing? Uh, You know, we've had a long, uh, very good history with the Cree uh, of Namaska, and that that really, that that history has culminated in in the signing of the impact benefit agreement. We, um, as I said, we we engaged the Cree from the moment we started on the project. The Cree actually were investors in our project. Uh, they invested their own money, um, and they invested when we were still private. Uh, and they participated in a couple rounds of financing with us. They continue to own their shares, um, and they are very supportive of the project. They have a young population there, and they and they, despite the fact that they have the James Bay Agreement with Hydro Quebec, they you know they're also very concerned about making sure their population is engaged and working and not idle um, and adding value uh, you know to to uh, their community okay and on the lithium market it's fair to say there's been a lot of hype surrounding tesla increased lithium demand there some people have been a little bit more hesitant sure what's your take and what would be the future for namaska if all of that increased demand weren't to come to fruition I think, you know, Tesla's a public company. Um, They're a public company. They have shareholders. They've made promises to their shareholders based on their understanding of the market. Um, You know, and I think think they've obviously, their their experts are are much closer to to the market than most. uh, And their predictions are based on their knowledge and their, their, you know, their predictions right now for the future. The other thing is Tesla's not the only game in town. Certainly they will make a big difference, but every major auto manufacturer in the world has an electric vehicle and has electric vehicle programs. Thanks for joining me, Wanda. Thank you. For Resource Investing News, I'm Teresa Maddich.